You know what really surprised me? In the Queensland election, Adani's coal mine was one of the most important issues to voters. How much better is that than... First it was Rudd, then it was Julia, then it was Rudd again. I mean, who's our Prime Minister going to be next week? It's going to be a tub of Philadelphia tubes. You can't vote Labor because, you know, I want my Prime Minister to be sweet, but uh, not, not as sweet as a tub of sweet chilli filly. The fact that a serious environmental issue beats at that is incredible. What's not so incredible is the slew of idiots online that if they're a guy, they look like AIDS Skrillex, and if it's a woman, they look like at least one of their parents is an oyster. That's why I'm so sensitive to marine issues who barrage me with, You're a Labor shell! You're a fucking Labor shell! You are this guy won't do a video about a Donnie! Yeah, I guess I haven't done a video on a Donnie if you exclude the four videos I've done on a Donnie. And I guess I'll be dogged with this rumor that I'm a Labor shill for the rest of my career, which even if it was true, I'd be a pretty fucking bad one, seeing as I've supported the Greens, independent candidates, and Clover Moore in her re-election campaigns. In fact, I'd probably even support that type of Philadelphia cheese if it had a better chance of beating a Liberal. I'm so independent, Kelly Clarkson had to change her song from Mr. to Miss Independent because she knows what happened to Mr. Independent right here. I make 100% of my living from doing stand-up shows. I pay my staff purely through t-shirt sales and Patreon membership. Thank you very much for your donations. Keep them coming. So the shocking bombshell truth as to why I support Labor is because I read. And as such, I know there's a 50-50 chance that the LNP, who when I was asking analysts about what Queensland Labor had done in its first term, the summary of their collective responses was, how unsettling is this? I tried to reverse the LNP's damage from when they were in office. Why does it sound like they did shit? Young man, I don't think you understand just how much damage the LNP did. Think of it this way, the LNP are Australia's equivalent of Al-Qaeda. Just replace a lot with coal. This is their entire first term summed up. Which meant that Queensland's frontline services were fucked. Labor had to, in many cases, rebuild entire school, hospital and fire departments from scratch because the LNP are such extremists that they were willing to grind Queensland's public services to a halt to build a Dainese coal mine using your money. And look, I'm not into fear-mongering. If they get elected this time, it's not gonna be that bad. It's gonna be a thousand times worse because if this time they gain office, I'll be in a coalition with one nation! Don't worry, I'll temper them. I'll make them less extreme. You say you care about the environment? You can kiss the 50% renewable energy target Labor set up in Queensland goodbye. If the LNP are elected, to quote that Urukai that decapitated that orc in Lord of the Rings, Looks like coal's back on the menu, boys. And I know there's a sector of Queensland that thinks, Music to my ears, more coal means more jobs. Look at the stats. Last time the LNP were in, they cut 14,000 jobs. Queensland Labor, and this is crazy. I've been doing this for a while. I've never seen figures like this before. They created over 122,000 jobs. And I wish I could tell the voters that those figures matter too, but they're gonna take one look at this video and think, it's like where's moisturizer? What a poof. So back to you, my albino mollusks who have way too much time and nowhere near enough vitamin D. You say you care about the reef. Queensland Labor banned dredge dumping. They banned coal loading for ships in the marine park. They also tried to reinstate land clearing laws the LNP ripped to shreds, which has resulted in the amount of land clearing in Queensland skyrocketing to nearly 400,000 hectares a year. 40% of that occurring in the Great Barrier Reef catchment area, and that means way more runoff, creating way more crown of thorn starfish that think, is no brain got a is a spaghetti. But they didn't have a majority, which means they couldn't pass it, which means that this time around, if they do get a majority, those laws will be reinstated and strengthened, and if you actually cared about the reef, that is reason enough to vote for them. And yet all the media attention has been focused on What are you even doing about Adani? Oh yeah, run away like you did money, kiss Russia, Anastasia. This guy's not doing enough about the reef. What are you talking about? The LNP and One Nation don't have a policy on the Great Barrier Reef. Nothing. Do you have any idea how insane that is? Every reef expert I've discussed this with, who, by the way, I've asked to remain completely anonymous because I do stuff like this in my videos. <clears throat> the general consensus is that this is the most important election for the Great Barrier Reef because this election will set up the framework of management for the next 10 years and that is all the reef has. And the LNP and One Nation have nothing in place to deal with that massive challenge because Pauline Hanson went for a swim in it and reckons it's fine. Meanwhile, Labor's pledged $500 million towards a reef protection program, which great start, nowhere near enough, 
but I think that we can all agree that that is far, far better than the LNP giving that same half a billion dollars to Adani. Mm, I don't know, it depends who you ask. Anyone with even a pea brain level understanding of the economics surrounding Adani, so sorry the vast majority of people have whined me about this, you're gonna have to sit this one out, but without the government giving taxpayer money to Adani, the likelihood of that coal mine being built is very seriously reduced to the point that even green groups now are supporting Anastasia Palaszczuk as clearly the better candidate, as she's the only thing standing between $1.5 billion of your tax money going to that coal mine. And yet these pale, translucent geeks continue to shriek. I've done my research. Research. She said she wants it built! She said she wants fucking a Johnny belt! Well, sorry, Cupcake, that those words don't make your ears feel good, but you know what's just as real as the climate you purport to care about? The political climate. And Queensland is courier with a chance of Hadley. It's a very conservative state, with very conservative media, whose papers have already been handing out in northern Queensland bumper stickers that read, Don't take my coal job, and I won't take your soy latte. Which, by the way, if anyone has any of those, please send them to me. I want to put them on my car just to freak mums in Balmain now. <laughs> it's not the caffeine, it's that awful either or that's making me jitter. Can't we have both? But could you imagine? In those communities, what the Courier Mail, the Queensland Resources Council and the LNP would run if Anastasia said anything remotely negative about that dumpster version of Elon Musk, Guatemadani, even if she just hinted that maybe he should shave his lawyer that works above a kebab shop moustache. If she said anything that could even be possibly construed as being remotely anti-coal, well, on would come a couple of million dollars worth of Anastasia Palaszczuk hates coal. What a mole. And there goes Queensland Labor. It's a minority government. It got in by literally a handful of votes. It can't afford to piss off all of northern Queensland. If Queensland Labor loses even one seat, it's Hello my baby, hello my darling, hello my ragtime gal. So again, Deepest apologies, the governments need to form a consensus between a broad range of the community in order to form government and therefore don't have the luxury of minor parties to tailor exact messaging and outcomes to your very specific niche requirements, you dumb inner city hipster brats who like to pretend they care about the reef, but if they were faced with a choice between it and broad city not existing, they'd weep. No, Alana's kooky outfits are even more colourful than the reef. That's not even an exaggeration. That's what happened. Between seasons of that shit, they watched a Four Corners documentary and think, just like when I took DMT, I am woke. If I was starring in the movie I Am Legend, it would be called I Am Woken. And when you call them up on it, they always retreat to their little cave of undeserved superiority and wheeze. You don't tell people to put the greens first and labor second. And so therefore you're the opposite of the girls in Broad City. This guy's a bad person. Oh, I see. These creatures of the deep are doing more than me despite not attending rallies or making videos about Adani that have been seen by hundreds of thousands of people and most egregiously 99% of these self-proclaimed angels would not give a cent to organisations like the Marine Conservation Society and the ACF that fight Adani. And out of the tiny minority that do, I bet I give more than them. And yet they think they've earned the right to criticise me because once every three years they go, one, oh, I have truly earned my wings, and now I must fly. <laughs> fly away. Again, I like the Greens. I think they're an excellent entity, but I really, really hate their voters who have no idea how difficult it is to form government against a party that is backed by the mining industry, the media, people who think Tarakash is cool, and honestly believe that by doing this, Ooh. that they've now earned the right to sit on their shit couch in their shit apartment that they share with as many people as I have subscribers and bitch about Queensland Labor, despite the fact they vote for them anyway. Yeah, well, fuck them all, man. I'm just going to use my election paper to write a rap. I hate the election. It can suck my... dick. Man, this is a big call, but I reckon I'm better than Eminem. That. Not Queensland Labor, but you thinking you have the moral standing despite not giving a cent to green groups and being ignorant enough to think it's your hard-earned right to bitch about Anastasia Palaszczuk because you know the word Adani. That's what's going to destroy the reef.